4,500 acres of the Ohlone Wilderness burned in the SCU fire, so that's where the Diablo Range Reveal team headed in the spring of 2021, on a backpacking trip with naturalist and photographer Scott Hine. Starting at a trailhead in Sunol Regional Wilderness, we passed through acres and acres of wildflowers growing in serpentine soils. Those soils are a relic of the Coast Range's oceanic phase, when seafloor crust subducted under the North American plate. The chemistry of serpentine soils makes them inhospitable to weedy, non-native plants. Native plants, on the other hand, can thrive, and they put on a bold springtime show, even in the absence of fire. After a little over three miles of unburned scenery, we finally spotted a telltale oak. There were bright green leaves on top, but the trunk was black and the leaves on the lower limbs were toasted. Only in a few places were trees actually toppled, or more ominously, almost completely incinerated. Ghosts on the ground. In between those bare patches, wildflowers, such as poppies, popcorn flower, baby blue eyes, vasilias, and calencia were blooming in profusion. Save Mount Diablo's Seth Adams likes to say that the Diablo Range is a golden eagle, California condor, and mountain lion freeway. Mountain lions were on our mind here because we'd heard that the Ohlone and Sunol wildernesses host the overlapping territories of nine of these elusive cats. We never saw a mountain lion on our trip, but we did find plenty of other wildlife. Stock ponds, the muddy watering holes that ranchers have established for cattle and sheep, were especially prolific. In one, a stick in the mud turned out to be a pond turtle's head. A Diablo range garter snake streaked toward the middle. We also saw a California newt, a red-legged frog, and numerous damselflies, all fire survivors. Acorn woodpeckers were among the most abundant bird species and definitely produced the noisiest cackles. But there were also bluebirds, western tanagers, ash-throated flycatchers, and more. Adding it all up, as birders often do, we saw 38 species over two days in the burn. Heading back to Sonol, we saw wildlife biologist Amanda Murphy. She was gathering data for an East Bay Regional Park District study of small vertebrate species, including king snakes, fence lizards, whiptail lizards, and mice. She dubbed our crowded puddle Rattlesnake Pond because she almost always sees California's only venomous snake out there. We had lots of luck that day, but we were not lucky enough to see a rattlesnake. By the end of the field season that year, Murphy reported that her study subjects had likely been well enough insulated in their underground homes to survive the SCU fire. Captures of snakes and amphibians had decreased overall, but the full range of small vertebrate species was still present, including the rare Alameda whip snake. We had good reason to hope that the Ohlone wilderness was experiencing an exciting rebirth. And thanks to the foresight of land preservation organizations, East Bay Regional Park District, and the people who support them, hikers like us were lucky enough to be able to witness the spectacle. When Save Mount Diablo helped establish the Diablo Trail back in the 1990s, its model was the Ohlone Wilderness Trail part of a stepping stone of preserves heading south out of the East Bay, the Ohlone Wilderness Trail offers city dwellers a rare chance to take a multi-day backpack trip close to home. It's a challenging 28-mile long roller coaster of a hike, passing within a mile of the highest point in Alameda County, 3,843-foot Discovery Peak. The trail crosses four East Bay Regional Park District preserves, along with some San Francisco Public Utilities Commission watershed lands. A total of 54,000 acres. That's twice as big as Pinnacles National Park. 
While throngs of visitors take selfies on Mission Peak, you can be completely alone on the San Francisco watershed lands just beyond that peak. The trail also passes through Senol Wilderness Regional Preserve, one of the East Bay's most popular wildflower meccas, and Ohlone Wilderness Regional Preserve, whose high plateaus offer a breathtaking window into the vast Northern Diablo Range. If you gaze across the undulations, can you imagine one of these days working to establish a Bay Area to Central Valley Trail through Corral Hollow? Save Mount Diablo can. Finally, the trail heads down into a steep wooded canyon and into a land of fishing, boating, and picnicking at Del Val Reservoir. You can venture in on a day trip or backpack along the entire 28-mile-long Ohlone Wilderness Trail. With a car shuttle between Mission Peak or Sun Ol and Del Val, some people do the entire trail in one day. For details about permits and reservations, check out the Ohlone Wilderness Preserves page on the web.